This week we have a project of running another batch of vintage style brass ball handles. This is a two-piece assembly. We started out with brass bar stock. We have uh, two tools we use, left and right hand carbide insert tool to do the balls on the shaft. Soft jaw fixture where we did the drilling and reaming for the two holes. We also did the turning for the handle itself, the knob, which then gets pressed into the handle. So you end up with with this assembly here, which is pretty much ready to be mounted on a machine or whatever it's going to be mounted to. What these are for is replacements on vintage equipment or some new mechanical designs that we're working on. Doing the tool offsets on the mill is a little bit of a pain because your Z distance is changing just by changing the tools. What we did with two different tools is because we can't get into a nice sharp corner there on the top side of the walls here, we had to come back in with the right hand to clean out that little corner there. This is our own design based off of an old vintage handle that we had uh, in the hardware bin. I think this is off of a hardinge lathe. This was an interesting project. We turned these on the CNC vertical mill. Currently our CNC lathe is down. Normally this would not be the easy way to do it. It's a little bit of a challenge and you have to reorient yourself to a vertical spindle. I happen to have the fixture for holding the tool post on its side because we used to do turnings like this uh, years ago when the only CNC machine we had was a benchtop milling machine. We did thousands of parts on that machine, turning them in the spindle and once you get used to the rotated programming it's really not a big deal and you can crank out some parts pretty quickly with that accurately and with great precision it's definitely one way of getting it done
So this is a good example of another ball handle on a vintage machine. This is on an old uh, benchtop horizontal mill. It's basically the same style, larger, a little bit different uh, profile on the handle, but the same idea. They do have some purpose behind them besides the just aesthetic look to them. The way this is set up is basically it's an attempt to balance the handle. So you have a lot of mass here in this ball over here, which is designed to make up for the extra mass of the handle on the other side. And they tapered the main shaft here to do the same thing. It's biased towards the large ball side to counterweight the handle. And what that does, it makes it a little bit easier to turn it. It makes the machine a little bit more accurate because you're not gonna have flopping of weight going on with the handle while you're feeding the table across. It's both aesthetic and for the precision that you're trying to get out of the machine.